Hi, I am Dr. Sincere Ntozi Sunday from Taraba State. I am 30 years old. I graduated from Mamadou Bello University, Zaria, in the year 2019 with a doctor of veterinary medicine. My VCN number is 8962. I became very passionate about veterinary entrepreneurship during my 300 level industrial attachment program where I was posted to the government abattoir in Cairo, Abuja. There I met with a serving copper, Dr. Samway. Dr. Samway then was able to expose me to various roles veterinarian fits in the society, ranging from working in military, working in paramilitaries, and being entrepreneur, and other aspects. My dream then, was to be a veterinary entrepreneur because I've had that passion of venturing into business and veterinary entrepreneurship looks enticing for me. So I decided that the one part I'll focus in is the small animal practice. And I said after school, I will open a small animal clinic where I will have a place where people will learn, younger vets will learn and where I will provide solution to my immediate environment. Then I went for that to serve that the government veterinary clinic for room. There it was more small animal practice and I was able to learn many skills from there under Dr. Mrs. Oyinebeji. She gave me more light on the practice and thank God that really helped me. After your service, due to lack of fun, I couldn't establish the clinic then. So I decided to start work for an agro-based company as a technical sales representative. Being a technical sales representative, that also helped me furthermore in experience of which I had the opportunity to come in contact with many veterinarians in practice. Those that have stayed longer in the practice, those that are starting, and I was able to discuss to know some of the challenges they face in the small animal practice with all from their experiences and from the knowledge I gained from them and from what I've seen while visiting their outlet, I decided that I will make my own practice different, working on all those lapses so that the veterinary profession will be a noble one and people will respect it for how it is. And one thing I observe amongst those clinics is many of them lack basic diagnostic equipment. As simple as microscope, it is difficult to get microscope in many veterinary clinics. And as simple as even some of the rapid test kits that are available these days, many clinics don't have it. The most diagnosis is being done based on tentative diagnosis. And this really have affected the profession as a whole, making many clients to have a judgmental feelings over certain doctors. And some clients feel this doctor don't know how to work. This doctor don't know the work. This doctor, that is because most at times, many of them work on tentative diagnosis. And once they get it wrong, the clients lose trust in the doctors. And with that, I decided that I'll make my own practice a different one. I've gotten a space to run my clinic, of which um, is a small animal clinic. And I want to appeal this grant, if given to me, I'll use it to get some of these basic diagnostic equipment, ranging from microscope, ranging from staining racks, ranging for different reagents to test so that whenever I've been presented with a case, I'll be able to at least run a rapid test for the, 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 the major diseases that are common in, in, in Nigeria. And I know over time, I'll be able to get sophisticated diagnostic equipment to help. These days we have rapid test kits for pregnancy of which I can get some of those rapid test kits for pregnancy, for parvo, even for hemoparasite and barbiciosis and leukosis, we have rapid test kits these days. So this grant will help me to get some of these test equipment. And also it, it, it will make the clinic 
a ground for younger vets in training to see there as an attachment place during their breaks to learn more why when not in school to learn in the practice because i can't imagine a younger vet on attachment going to a clinic and it's only working based on tangential diagnosis without any confirmation and it has really made the profession uh, and many vets to just focus and many it can make the profession many vets they just focus based on what they tentatively diagnose and most of us lack the skills now to run some, some of these tests. So this grant will help me to make a clinic that will be a grant for vets in training process to see as an attachment place. Then also it will help the profession in general as a whole when clients gain that trust in veterinarians within, they will talk and speak more of high esteem about vets so i know this grant will also help me to be able to if i have a nice working place i can employ one or two vets over time of which it will reduce the unemployment rate of the country so um with this i appeal that if this grant is given to me it will really help my practice to grow very well. Thank you.